What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. I'm on a street here with these videos. Check it out. There's a like There's a like page on Facebook called Najma Reflects. And if you want a, a view into the dysfunctionality of female behavior in the 21st century, uh, then you really need to go check out her page. I heard she has a YouTube channel, but I haven't checked it out yet. So, anyway, she brought up a concept and an idea that I've kind of built upon. She mentioned emotional incest. Now, if you can imagine incest on its own, the physical sense then you can imagine how discomforting that would be to watch. So emotional dis, uh, incest should be equally discomfort or, or, or uncomfortable to watch. Now, building on her concept, I would say that, you know, the way she described it, emotional incest is this. A woman who doesn't have the skills or ability to maintain a healthy relationship with a man and therefore builds an emotionally codependent relationship with her son in the stead of an emotional relationship with the man. Now, of course, long term, this is very dangerous and damaging to both her and especially to her son. I don't know if they do this with girls, but, you know, um, for boys, I've definitely seen it, you know. Anyway, what can this do? This puts a type of emotional codependence from the boy towards his mother. Now, when he goes out into the great big bad world and he starts meeting all these women, he doesn't understand the necessity nor um, has he developed the ability to establish his wants and needs in a relationship. And therefore, he only gives to someone who only knows how to take. Because what can he do for his mother? You know, in a sense, she can only take. She's built that relationship because she needs, needs, needs that attention from a man. So she's raising a man who only knows how to give attention and doesn't know how to receive proper treatment in return. And of course, there's no way she can properly do it unless she goes into a physically incestuous relationship with her son, which is revolting and wretched and disgusting. So what happens now is you end up with a boy who goes into the world being a white knight, beta mangina, a mama's boy. And he doesn't know how to be a man in a relationship because his, his model of reproductive success has been his mother who used him as a surrogate for her failures in relationships look at uh brevik the mass killer from the nordic country was it sweden i can't remember where he's from look at his relationship look at the psychology of his relationship it was an emotionally codependent relationship from a mother who couldn't maintain a relationship with a man if you look at most dysfunctional behavior in children and then into adulthood it always leads back to what single parenting by mothers I'm not making this stuff up, guys. You can go research this. It is the number one determining factor in dysfunctional behavior in adolescence into adulthood. Most criminals, most emotionally and psychologically disturbed people come from single-parent households that were led by the mother. And this is probably part of the wisdom behind the Islamic ruling that the children go to the father and not the mother. Because Allah knows his creation. So, um, anyway, new terminology... Check out Najma Reflects. Go and get that woman's support because she's under attack for just bringing out the truth and calling for like more traditional values, which is what we need in this society that's, that's coming apart at the hinges. And so go give her some props. Go give her some support. And uh, for all the haters, you know, you can go over there and hate, but she's used to it. She's got millions upon millions of haters already. So, you, you know, the few of you that are going to go over there and hate on her, you're not going to do anything. And you might catch me on some of her threads battling it out with some of these bitter... I was about to say a rhyme there. Bitter... Women. This is your man, Abu American. I'm out.